Over a year ago, I reviewed the base set of Lawa's nanomorphs, featuring 27, 35, and 50 mil lenses. Today, we're here to talk about the telephoto additions to the lineup and the front nanomorphic adapter Lawa is releasing to make them more cinematic. I got the 65 and 80 mil in PL version and teamed up with Connor Nyan, also from Vancouver, who owns the rest of the set. We got all five lenses in PL mounts and silver flares to evaluate how they perform in production with a short film. Oh, and the BTS was filmed with an Anamorphs plus Lawa's 1.33 adapter, turning the 1.5 times lenses into two times squeeze. I'm walking here. Watch where you're going, lady. Hey. What, what, what is this? Are you doing some stupid TikTok prank or something? You got your twin running ahead and making me look stupid? Dude, that's your damage. Damage? You broke it. Who's gonna fix it? I've never seen you before, weirdo. I didn't break your Game Boy. It's my short screen! Hey, hey! I think I'm lost and uh, my phone's broken. Can you point me to the nearest exit? Word. Running in this park sometimes feel like you're stuck in a loop. Tell me about it. Here, let's motor. I'll guide you out. I'm Tara, by the way. Marco, nice to meet you. I don't mean to be a weirdo, but I feel like I, feel like I ran into you before. Did I? No, I don't think so. Just like the wider lenses, the 65 and 80 mil are 1.5 anamorphics advertised for Super 35 sensors. But you could get away with them on full frame bodies if you plan well your aspect ratio. The talking head for this episode is filmed with a 65 mil on full frame and I found that it gives me slightly better coverage than the 80mm on full frame. The PL versions are almost twice the weight of the mirrorless versions, with these two around 830 grams or 1.8 pounds each. To make up for that, they have a quarter inch slot for lens support, but if you're chill about the weight, you can remove the support and make them smoother. The filter threads are 77mm on the PL versions with 80mm outer diameter for clip-on matte boxes and 58mm on the mirrorless versions. Iris goes as fast as T2.4 and that's not bad, although I wouldn't complain about an extra half-stop of light. Both iris and focus rings are geared, as expected, and match placement with the rest of the set for easy lens swings on set. Focus comes down to 2 foot 4 on the 80mm and 2 foot 3 or 70 centimeters on the 65 millimeters, with markings in Imperial on one side of the lens and metric on the other, which is a cool feature. And the throw is around 270 degrees. Like we saw in the Proteus lenses, these little ones also feature the focus adjustment ring, which you can unlock and adjust your flange to sensor distance without reshimming the lens. What I just said is technically incorrect but the result is similar enough. I don't want to spend 10 minutes on technicalities. Please don't quote me on that. I absolutely love this feature as you can easily adjust for the best performance while still looking through the camera to confirm that your focus marks line up. 
The adapter that comes out with these two lenses has 1.33 times squeeze, requires you to focus the base lens to infinity, and do all the focusing on the adapter. It also turns the Nanomorph's 1.5 times squeeze into two times, making them more anamorphic -y. The adapter is a bit chunky, weighing 830 grams, the same weight as a PL Nanomorph, and it's not a bad idea to rely on its foot support. The cool thing about this foot support is you can reposition it with the various screw holes around the adapter. Alignment is set using the three silver screws on the back, and the rear threads are 77 millimeters. This thing also comes with 55, 62, and 77 mil adapter rings, so you can use it on a variety of taking lenses. The front threads are 86 millimeters. The focus ring is geared and focus comes down to two foot five or 73 centimeters in about 200 degrees of throw. We have markings in both feet and inches and metric. In terms of price and availability, these two are hitting the market in September and they'll cost $1,500 for the EF and PL versions which work with a wide array of cameras and $1,100 for the mirrorless versions in Z, X, L, MFT, DL, E, or RF mounts. That's pretty much all the mounts. The adapter comes out in the same launch and it'll retail at 700 bucks. So check the campaign in the description if you're interested. Performance wise, these are sharp wide open. They even get better resolving power and improved light fall off as you stop them down but they're pretty good at T2.4 already. The main reason for stopping them down, especially the 80 mil, would be to improve depth of field and make your focus puller's life better, plus show some appreciation for your production designer. I didn't film charts for the adapter's performance, but you can gauge it from all these BTS clips. When it comes to distortion, they follow the same style of the previous nanomorphs with light pincushion. I found the 80 mil to be more pronounced than the 65 mil. And on that note, let's stop the hate for pincushion distortion. This takes one second to address in Resolve. Literally one slider. No need to obsess over barrel distortion. Anyone can have it. In flare land, these are available in three colors. The other ones I reviewed were a mix of orange and blue, but the ones I got here today are silver. In many cases, silver coatings mean taking on the colors of the light source, and this is exactly what happens here. I don't mind the color, but I'm still not the biggest fan of this flare. But that gets a lot better with the front cylinders introduced by the adapter, giving much more depth to the flares, as opposed to the Nanomorph's base, which is still not my favorite. Overall, Having the lenses on set was super easy and they didn't get in the way at any point for us to tell the story. We had some ND filtration on for most shots, but still were able to fly them on the RS3 Pro with minimal time to rig it up. The fact that they're all so similar in size and weight makes switching them on a gimbal a non-stressful experience. What did you think of our results? Did you enjoy the short? I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you're still looking for more anamorphic material, Browse through the older videos. I haven't asked you to subscribe in ages and I'm not going to start now. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you on the next episode.